when I was very young, my father bought a Betacam machine, and I think we were one of one of the first people in our neighborhood to have a, um, a video machine, and we were able to go to a little video store that was there. We were not in the city, we were in the outskirts of the city. So there was a little video video store. Everyone in my family loved loved cinema, and I think that had a lot to do with the fact of you know me wanting to to try to become an actress and explore that. I fell in love with New York. First time I came here, I, I was blown away. I said, I feel like I've been here before. I want to live here. I felt like you can always feel like a student when you're here. And I don't feel that way in LA. There are a lot of things that I like about LA, but I don't like that when you go to the restaurant, if you pay attention, all the tables around you, it's very rare to find a conversation that is not about the industry, that is not about movies. And I don't feel that's good for for me as an actress to be in a place where everything is about that. I still feel more at home in Madrid. Tie me up, tie me down. When I saw that movie, I was 14. I, I went by myself to the theater, which is something that I used to do very much as a kid and as a teenager. Yeah, the first time Pedro called, I was um, I was 16, 17. And I was in the bathroom drying my hair, and, and somebody said, Almodovar is on the phone. And, and I, I remember just freezing. I said, no, this, I didn't believe it, and I thought it was a joke from my, my friends and family, and, and I kept doing my thing. I said, no, really, he's, he's on the phone. And for me, that was a huge, huge thing, because I had dreamed about that moment. It was really um, a little obsession for me. Sometimes I used to walk around his area where he lived just to see if I would find him in the street. Then he wrote me a letter and said, no, you are too young now, but I'm gonna write you a character for one of my next movies. And he did write me that part. And now we just wrapped our fourth movie together. So he's a man of his word. Vicky Cristina Barcelona. <laughs> Barcelona. Vicky Cristina Barcelona. In Spain, uh, the fans of Woody Allen are really obsessed with Woody Allen, and, and people love him. My favorite movie of his is Deconstructing Harry. I think that's the movie that has made me laugh the most in, in, in my entire life. I have memories of falling in the floor laughing with that movie. Uh, Woody and I had a meeting in New York for 40 seconds. And when I left, the people that worked at the office told me, oh, you have been there for a very long time. Because uh, I had talked with other actors that, that had worked with him, and all of them told me that their meetings were very short, that sometimes he doesn't speak and he just takes a Polaroid of you, and then he calls you and gives you the character. I think to, to work on Maria Elena, I didn't want to treat her as a crazy person. I had to take that pain very, very seriously, and to the point where I completely forgot that we were doing a comedy. And when I saw the movie with an audience in Cannes, I said, why are they laughing? This is not funny. All of these characters are suffering so much. I'm sure everyone has a little breakdown the day after the Oscars. I have mine, but it was a mixture of laughing and crying. And I was very happy about everything that happened with Volver. And it's never about winning or losing. It's about, oh my God, this experience has been so intense. After the ceremony, I, I had this need to go to just eat cheeseburgers after the ceremony. I, I, and the gown and the whole thing, you just have the, the need to do something that is completely the opposite, you know, kind of um, event. We went to in and out in the dress and, and in the drive through Yeah, I started dancing when I was four. I think... Ballet gave me a lot of discipline, a lot of the discipline that you need later for for a shoot, because it's much harder to dance than than, than the discipline of, of movies. When your feet are bleeding and you are told to just keep smiling and keep going, and it's really the only way that you can, you can do it, and the only way the teachers teach. Insecurity never goes away 100%. When I did the, the first movie, I thought maybe it could be the last one. And that made me very, very sad. And they keep giving me these wonderful opportunities. I always try to remember that that's not the most common thing 